Yo, it's your boy Dre the Don. What's up? Um, today I'm here to talk about free agency in the NBA. Um, pretty much, I don't this little spot back here. I don't know. This will, you know, uh, I don't know how this is gonna come out because that bright spot behind me is just like annoying. But um. Yesterday was a very big day in free agency with LeBron James deciding, and I, I always thought that he would do this, deciding to go back to Cleveland. I made a video about that. Um, I, That's a good look for LeBron, I think. I, I think this Miami thing, I don't think it would have lasted that long. People would have got pissed off because they needed to get rid of Dwayne Wade. This wasn't gonna this Dwayne Wade LeBron thing wasn't gonna last any that much longer, you know. Um But um the next player to make his decision was the big the other big guy next to LeBron was Carmelo. Big guy. Um He decided to stay in New York. Um which the more I thought about it, and kind of being a dick, being an asshole, um, and not really believing in Melo that much, I really don't think this is that bad of a decision. I don't think he could have won a title in L.A. And L.A. is my team, and I'm biased as hell with them. I don't think he could have won a, t a, a title in Houston. And I really, and people might say, eh, I don't think he could have won a title in Chicago. I just don't think this guy's championship material. I don't think this guy's a leader. I think he's a horrible leader. I think he's a cancer to a locker room. I've been saying this about Carmelo for about three, four years. He's just not that player. He's just not. He's a can't. He's just. He's like Charles Barkley of this generation. You know, he's just not as dominant as Charles. But he just doesn't impress me at all. He's a great scorer, but. What else can you say about him that he does great? Great players. You could say Le Michael, Jordan, or Kobe, or LeBron. You could say Kobe, Michael, LeBron. They're great scorers. They're great defenders. They're great leaders. They're great motivators. They're great. Um, anything, like a lot of things. They got that fire. Anything. Melo, you just say he's a great scorer. That's all. Even Paul George. People like Paul George say he's a good scorer. He can play defense. He can, he can, he can, he can guard the the best player on the team, he's a great perimeter player, he can make shots for other people, like, you can say a lot of things about Paul George, he just came in the fucking league, and I personally, I, um, I think, B, I think Nick, Coach Nick from B-Ball Breakdown made a video, is, I think the video was titled, Is Carmelo Worth the Money, and he had some valid points, he said, hey, I think Melo's the, the fifth best small forward in the NBA, and I said, hey, I said, I might not 100% agree with that. I can see it, though. He said, I'd pick Paul George and Kawhi Leonard over, over Melo. I said, I don't know about it. I said, I kind of would. If you're talking about the next five years, I, I would. Cause, um, And we don't know how much Melo has left. And that was his prime. And the Knicks couldn't make the playoffs. And they're not going to have Tyson Chandler this year, next year. I mean... I mean, I just don't think he's is. I just don't think he's as good as LeBron. He's no, I. That's a fucking proven fact. He ain't good as LeBron, but. And also, let me get off Melo, man. Um. Also, former Laker Paul Gasol made his choice, and he's gonna go to the Chicago Bulls. I guess that as I think that's kind of a plan B. I think they were depending on getting Melo and Gasol. I think Dwayne Wade will be their plan B. I think um, Gasol will make a good fit with the Bulls. I don't think he's going to change anything. Like, he's not going to change anything big. You know, he, he'll make a good fit with them. Um, We'll see how that works out, though, with him and Noah. I know I played good with Bulls, though. You know, that was a good... I, and Gasol and Noah are two different type of players, you know. Um, Noah... They're two different type of players. They can play good. Noah played with Horford in, in college at Florida. I mean, they, they, they can make it work. I think Gasol, and, they can make it work. And I think Gasol's kind of insurance for Der Derrick Rose because Derrick Rose, I just don't know. I don't know. Like, 
Derrick Rose needs to watch a lot of John Wall footage. He needs to watch John. For I think John Wall is like an inch taller than Derrick Rose. Um, I think he needs to watch a lot of John Wall footage and just try to be John Wall. Just try to be a more a more a more aggressive John Wall. You know, he's not as good as, as he's not as good as of a shooter as John Wall. He can get to the basket better than John Wall though. Um, he needs to be like more like John Wall. Derrick Rose should watch John Wall's footage. And try to be more like him and get people to ball and facilitate more. Um, because him going in and trying to get 29, 30 every night, driving in. And he needs to get a shot, jump shot together too. He can't be just driving in and bouncing on that on those knees like that, man. He, it's not going to last that long. And even Dwayne Wade developed a mid-range jump shot. That's why he was able to, you know, not get completely hurt, completely injured, you know. But um, there are a couple other guys who are free agents. I think Lou Alding, a lot of teams are looking at him. Um, Eric Bledsoe's the big free agent. The Lakers signed back a lot of people that they had last year. Well, not a lot, but they, they spent pretty much a lot, most of their money on, on the people last year, which kind of pissed me off. Um, Wade's still out there. Um... Miami should get him back, but I wouldn't be surprised if he just said, you know what, it was a good run. He, it would be fucked up if he did that, you know, because they, I don't, it wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know if it would be disloyal because Paul Pierce left the Celtics. If Paul Pierce can lead the Celtics, anybody can lead. Um, so when he left, I wouldn't be mad at him, but I think other people, Miami Heat fans would. Um, you got Eric Bledsoe. So I just wish I wish some kind of way the Lakers can get rid of Steve Nash's contract and pull in Bledsoe some type of way. I think they can. I, I'm pretty sure they can if they because they already have like what I don't know how much they have left on the cap now, but I think if they get rid of Nash's contract, they would definitely have enough for Bledsoe. Um, Luau Ding, another great player. I think the I think the the Heat are looking to get him. I think he'll probably end up with the Heat, you know. You got Greg Monroe, another another player. You know, he's another great player. Um, look at my phone, yo. He's another great player. Um, not great player, but he's a good player. Yeah, he's he had 15 points, nine rebounds last year. That's that's pretty good. He's been only been in the league for like five, four or five years though. He's gonna get better. Um. Hopefully he can get to 20 and 10. If he get 20 to 10, that's when we're working with something. Gasol, he's gone. Lance Stevenson is another player who... Pace, he just needs to stop bull... Oh, excuse me. He needs to stop counting. He needs to stop bullshitting with the Pacers in that contract. He needs to go and take that contract. Um, Nobody else is going to offer Lance more than that. He's only had, what, two two productive seasons. Nobody's gonna go out off of that. He made an ass of himself blowing in LeBron's ear and flopping around. I mean, his stats are very underwhelming if you really look at him. He had uh he had a couple of triple doubles this year. He led the league in triple doubles, you know, but who else is really getting triple doubles? Um Yeah, he averaged thirteen points and seven rebounds. Like that's not really impressive. Just not. Just really isn't. Sorry, but he should just take. I think he he deserves. He belongs to be. With, he needs to be with the with the Pacers. I could see the Bulls overpaying him if they don't get. Now that they didn't get Melo, and if they don't get Wade, I could see the Bulls overpaying him. I don't know the Bulls. They they ain't been. They don't they don't do that shit because they didn't even want to pay Michael Jordan. But you never know. You never know. You got Paul Pierce as a free agent, which. I think OKC should jump on this, me personally. I think the Spurs could jump on this, you know. You got Evan Turner, who I think someone is going to fucking fall. He's going to fall from the heavens into a a contender's hand, a Clippers or a Rockets hand. He's going to fall from the heavens inside in their hands or like Toronto or Washington. I think they could get him for cheap. He's just gonna fall in their hands. I think this good dude's gonna be a great play, a good player in this league. Twenty points a game, five rebounds, five assists type guy. I think he's gonna be a pretty good player in this in this league. 
You got Sean Marion. I think he has a couple of years left. You know, someone could get him. Um, Trevor Rees actually got picked up by the Houston Rockets. So that's a great pickup for them. I don't know what they're going to do with Chandler Parsons now. Chandler Parsons is a better scorer than Ariza, but Ariza is a two-way player. He can guard three, four positions. You know, he's a great player. They need defense on. They need perimeter defense on that team because James Harden is just yeah. Um, Rodney Stuckey, another sleeper who I've always loved since like oh seven, oh six in Detroit. He's been a great player, kind of a big point guard, shooting guardish type of combination guard. You know, I think he could. Make a big role on the team. Hopefully, the Lakers, if they can find a way to get him. I like this guy. You know, they got the Lakers got Lynn, Jeremy Lynn yesterday. They got a lot of point guards on their roster. Um, but I think they're going to get rid of Nash. So, we'll see. Jameer Nelson. Pacers have to jump on him. The Pacers, they, Jameer Nelson is right there. They, You need a point guard. George Hill is not a point guard. He's not a shooting guard. I don't know what the hell George Hill is. Um, you need Jameer Nelson right now, fast. Andre Blatch, yeah, another good player to put in on the team. You know, I could see a team getting him. A, you know, he's a good player. Not a, not really a. He's more of an accessory player. He's not really a need. You just like a. You could just, you know, Ray Allen, another player who. A contender, only contenders are going to go for Ray Allen nowadays, you know, he's not going to, you know, Ramon Sessions, another great, good player, I, why am I calling everybody great, only Kobe is great, <laughs> why am I calling, um, Ramon Sessions, another good player, another good point guard, mm, I like Ramon Sessions, I always liked him, even though he was with the Lakers and didn't do shit against the Thunder in that series, Um, Marvin Williams washed up. Ed Davis, yeah. Kurt Heinrich, meh. Yeah. Gerard Bayless, meh. Yeah. Mario Chalmers, <sighs> Mike Miller. I think Cleveland will get him. Somebody will get him. Mo Williams. Cleveland could get him. Cleveland really should get Mo Williams. Mo Williams can still play. If you seen the Houston Portland series, Mo Williams can still ball. Karan Butler's a free agent. Somebody could get him. Karan Butler still can ball. Jordan Crawford, in the next three years, this dude is gonna be his brother all over again. Maybe even better. Jordan Crawford is good. Devin Harris washed. Bynum, no comment. <laughs> Um, Brian Roberts for the Pelicans. He's a pretty, he's going to be a good, I, I like him. He's going to be a good, he's not afraid. He's a good, he's going to be a good combination guard. He's like 6'1". Not really, I don't really see him playing point guard. Like, I, he, maybe he can. He's going to have to develop more. I watched him with the Pelicans a little bit. Since I live in Alabama and we kind of get their games. I, I watched Brian Roberts. He's going to be a, he's going to be a pretty good player. Mike Smith looks like. I'm not going to go through all these guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just trying to. You got Chris Anderson, DJ Augustine. DJ Augustine's a good player, too. Somebody should get him. Um, Allen Anderson from Brooklyn. He's a pretty good player. Uh, yeah. Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah, watched. Um, Aaron Brooks, one of my guys. Aaron Brooks can fucking play. And people sleep on him. And this is the thing that I have in the NBA that people have. They pick names over actual talent. The NBA has this thing where they pick names over actual talent. Right now, I would I would take I would take Jeff Teague over Ray John Rondo. Jeff, because I watch Jeff Teague, and Jeff Teague's a better player than Ray John Rondo. Not because Ray John Rondo's name. That's why people would pick him. Just that name. Ooh, Rondo. Oh, he ain't better than Rondo. But the NBA and these analysts and these, even the GMs have this thing where they pick names over talent. Like, they don't watch games. Like, if you watch basketball, you know who's the better player. Those guys who get slept on, like DeMarcus Cousins, they, like, he's a great player. You know, he's just on a bad team. Um, That's pretty much it, guys. I'm sorry this video went on a little too long. I just had to go over the whole bulk of the free agency thing. Till next time. 
Dre the Don. Peace.